Imagine each of these grains of rice is an air molecule. Air is a mixture of different gases, so the grains represent different atoms and molecules. In all, we have over two and a half million air molecules here. 78% of the rice is nitrogen molecules, and 21% is oxygen molecules. These are atoms of argon. There are a few other atoms and molecules in the mix too. Neon, helium, methane and others. And one very special molecule, ozone. Ozone is an unstable oxygen molecule, made up of three oxygen atoms rather than two. In all this air, there would be just one molecule of ozone. Actually, it's not distributed evenly in the atmosphere as we've seen. Most of it is found in the ozone layer, the thick layer in the stratosphere whose centre is about 26 kilometres above sea level. In the centre of the ozone layer, you'd find about 14 ozone molecules amongst this many air particles. Ozone is continually being created and destroyed in the ozone layer as ultraviolet radiation from the sun interacts with oxygen molecules. It's incredibly potent stuff. This is all it takes to keep 99% of UVB radiation from reaching the ground. The 1% of UVB that makes it through causes sunburn, skin cancer and cataracts. So imagine what life would be like without ozone. Sunshine would be a hundred times more dangerous. Ozone was under threat from chemicals that destroy it. But the Vienna Convention and the Montreal Protocol are helping the world to phase out those chemicals. We've averted a global catastrophe by working together internationally. But that is not all. The chemicals destroying ozone are also greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide, but with much more global warming potential. Therefore, by phasing them out, the Vienna Convention and the Montreal Protocol have helped in the battle against global warming. But more could be done. Some of the replacement chemicals are also potent greenhouse gases. Before industrialization, in this much air, there would be this many carbon dioxide molecules. That's all it takes to keep plants growing and to prevent the planet from freezing. Human activity has added this many more carbon dioxide molecules to the mix, mostly by burning coal, oil and gas. This extra carbon dioxide and the other greenhouse gases are trapping a lot of heat. The replacements for ozone-depleting chemicals are adding to global warming. These guys, they're the superheroes keeping the world safe from UV. Our job is to keep them safe without adding to the problem of global warming. <laughs>